Welcome. Greetings, salutations. It's good to be back with you on Wednesday for our Wednesday devotion. Have you caught Olympic fever? Are you watching the, the Olympic Games? It's exciting. I, I have to confess, um, it's, it's fun to watch the competition. It's amazing to watch the athletes. You get caught up in their stories in the back stories, not of just the Olympic events themselves, but you you get caught up in the back stories and we learn the biographies of uh, the participants and the athletes. We, uh, we watch um, the, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat as the wide world of sports introduction would say to us. And it is exciting and I find myself absolutely amazed at the the level of competition of the skills of the endurance of the 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 peak of these athletes their their mental uh, focus their their physical abilities and just the the way that they perform in their events. It's amazing. And then I'm snapped back into reality and knowing that if I were to try any of those events, I would end up falling. I would end up on the ground or worse. But that's all right. Because I realize I am not an Olympic athlete. That's okay. That is not a gift that that I have been given, and that's all right. Because as I've been watching the Olympics, as I've been thinking about just the just the gifts and the abilities and all of the other intangibles, the variables that go into being an Olympic athlete, I was I was reminded of of just the different gifts that we have. That not everybody is an Olympic athlete. I'm not one of them. That not everybody has the same gifts, and that's all right. And I was reminded uh, of that fact, of that notion, this past weekend, uh, Thursday and then Sunday's worships, as we were uh, installing our, our council leaders. And I heard those words again from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. And we read these at the installation moments, and it bears repeating. From 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 7. There are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. That the same God who created me is the same God who created all of the other uh, people on earth, including all the, the, the Olympic athletes. And that's wonderful and that's amazing. And the same Christ who died on the cross for me is the same Christ who died for all of the Olympic athletes. And the same Spirit who empowers me to use my gifts is the same Spirit who empowers all of the Olympic athletes to use their gifts. But we all don't have the same gift. We all don't have the same abilities. We all don't have the same, the same variables and intangibles. And that's okay. But we are all called to use them. We are all called by the same God. We are all saved by the same Christ and we are all empowered by the same spirit. And that is the wonderful part to this, that as much as, as I might like to be an Olympic athlete, I'm not, never going to be, never have been. That's okay. It's not my, it's not my gift. I have other gifts and I use them in the same way that you have gifts that you use. And maybe you are an Olympic athlete and to you, I say, bravo. And if you're not, that's okay. You join the club, but you're good at something. 
You have been created in with the ability to do something, whatever the something is. Maybe you are a good woodworker. Maybe you're a good speaker. Maybe you're creative and a good painter or an artist. Maybe you're a fabulous cook or a baker. Maybe you have nimble fingers to sew, knit, crochet, or the infinite amount of other gifts and abilities that God has given to us. To that I say, use them. Don't be afraid. Step out in your faith as we heard on Sunday and use the gifts. We can get ramped up in the, the Olympic competition and we can watch the games and the events and the athletes to know that I'm not going to be in the Olympics. And that's all right. But there are other things that I could do and I can be and I can act in the name of God through Jesus Christ. And they may not be Olympic games. That's all right. I can still do them and I can still be great at them and I can still share them. So whatever you're good at today, that God is calling you to use your gifts. And you know what? Even there are times when we're good at something and we still fall. Just like those Olympic athletes. If you've been watching, you've seen your share of spills, thrills, falls. These people are at the peak of their abilities. They've trained for years and years. And they fall. And you know what? They get back up. And they do it all over again and they train and they train and there will be another Olympics coming around. And even if it isn't, they still fall and they can still use their gifts of whatever it is that they do. And there are moments where there are things that you and I are good at and we fall. And maybe we, we fail. But we get back up, we do it all over again. Why? Because that's what God's asked us to do. We'll fall. We'll fail, we'll stub our toe, and we'll get back up, and we'll do it again. Because that's what this life is all about. That's what living in the kingdom of God is all about, is that God knows us. God knows where we have stubbed our toes, where we have fallen short, and where we have just flat out failed. And God says, we're going to do it again. So, enjoy the... Enjoy the competitions, enjoy the contest, appreciate the people for the gifts that they bring, and most importantly, appreciate yourself for the gifts that you bring, because you have them. God has given them to you. God has asked, would you be willing to share them? Worship schedule this week, you know it, Thursday evening, 6.30, in person, online, Sunday morning, 8.00. 10.30, in-person, online. Faith Connections is at 9.15. Getting ready for Lent. Lent's got, Lent is going to be coming up uh, soon. And uh, when, Wednesdays during Lent uh, is uh, going to be the theme created for communities. And then Sundays during Lent, we're going to be working on this book. And the themes, 316, the numbers of hope. We'll have the books available if you'd like to uh, to read them. You don't have to participate in the Bible study on Sunday mornings to read the book. Um, but if you'd like to, there will be some available. As always, tell somebody that Jesus loves them and invite someone to worship with you here at the Big 